Number 29. Great Lakes Chemical Company produces bromine, which is BR2, from bromide salts such as NABR, in Arkansas brine by treating the brine with chlorine gas. Write a balanced equation for the reaction of NABR with Cl2. Okie dokie. All right, so all we have to do in this case, you know, yada, 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 right? Write a balanced equation for the reaction of NABR with Cl2. So it seems like NABR, which is a sodium bromide, is reacting with, with, right, this plus this. So uh, sodium bromide plus chlorine gas. And now let me just bring this on over a little bit just so that we have some room. It's going to react and we're going to produce a couple of products, right? Now, what type of reaction is this? Well, I, I see that I have a compound reacting with a lonely a one element molecule, right? This is a single replacement. Okay, so this is a single replacement reaction in which one ion of the compound is going to want to react with the uh, element of the molecule, in this case, chlorine. But we have to figure out which one, right? Well, if we break this down, right, what ions were, you know, what ions were there when we formed NaBr? Well, use the subscripts. Right? That's what we've been doing. There's one sodium and one bromine. This one tells me that bromine was a minus one, and this bromine told me that sodium was a plus one. So the ions that were there when we made sodium bromide was sodium plus one and Br minus one. Now, chlorine is by itself, right? So Cl2. Now, when chlorine's by itself, Remember, was there a charge for chlorine? No, right? All your diatomics have a zero charge. However, when it's in a compound, and that's what's going to happen on this side, when it's in a compound, what charge does chlorine like to have? On the periodic table, chlorine is actually right below bromine, right? It goes, actually, sorry about that. It's right above bromine, right? Chlorine on top, bromine at the bottom. So, if bromine is a negative one, what charge do you think chlorine's going to want to be? Yeah, a negative one as well. So, if chlorine wants to be a negative one, who is it going to hook up with? Is it going to hook up with the sodium or the bromine? Remember, you can't have two positives in a compound and you can't have two negatives. You have to have one positive and one negative. So, if the chlorine is going to be the negative guy, which one is going to be the positive. Yeah, sodium. Sodium is going to hook up with the chlorine, right? And that's going to be Na plus 1, coming in with Cl minus 1. What's the compound? Well, crisscross those charges. The plus 1 comes down telling me that I have one chlorine. The negative 1 cr comes down telling me that I have one sodium. So the compound, one of them, is NaCl plus... Now what happened to bromine, right? It's all by itself. So bromine is going to want to go back to its molecular form, right? And now you say to yourself, okay, is bromine allowed to exist by itself or is it a diatomic? This is your memorization of all the diatomics. I think there's only seven of them, right? Chlorine's one of them and bromine is another, right? You can think of it as Brinkelhoff. Um, basically, all your diatomics are H2, N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, and I2. But I, I've said those a couple of times in other, other uh, uh, chap, uh, videos. Okay, so now we have the, the standard, right? Let's just put some states and let's balance the equation. Now they say that the NABR was a salt, right? Salts are usually solids. So NABR would be a solid, right? Cl2, they told me that it was chlorine gas. So Cl2 has to be a gas. NaCl is a salt, right? NaCl is table salt. So just like this salt was a solid, this would be a solid. And bromine 
in standard form, this is just memorization, bromine in standard form would be a liquid. Um, and it just said, you know, it just says it produces bromine. So I'm assuming that we're going back to standard conditions. Now we just have to balance. Let's see, is there anything that's standing out at me that we have to balance in this equation? Well, yeah, there's two chlorines on the left-hand side, and there's only one chlorine on my product side. So I know that I have to put a number here, right? And what number do you think, guys? Yeah, definitely a two, right? Two chlorines, two chlorines. So that's cool. Now let's see, I have two sodiums. I have only one sodium here. So what number do you think we're gonna put here? Oh, that was an ugly box. What number do you think we're gonna put here? Yeah, definitely a two, right? Two sodiums, two sodiums. And now I have two bromines and two bromines. So that's all balanced. So this is the final answer. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button, subscribe if you want. If not, that's okay. Still love to help you guys out anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you're having an awesome day and keep studying hard, okay? I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.